In grade 11, they typically used to ask questions like this in trigonometry, where they would start the question with the word if, and then you would typically have to draw yourself a triangle. Now, it's, just, it's the same in grade 12, but obviously we can add in a few grade 12 concepts. So the first goal is to identify in which quadrant we are working in. Well, they're telling us that the cos of some angle called A is a positive number. So cos is positive here and here. So we are a bit stuck. But then they tell us that this angle is bigger than 180 and smaller than 360, which is here and here. So clearly, quadrant number 4 satisfies both conditions, and so we will draw our triangle in that quadrant. Now they tell us that cos is 3 over 5. Well, we know that cos from Sokotoa is adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we use A as our reference angle, then the adjacent is this one over here, so that's going to be 3, and then the hypotenuse is 5. What we then do to find the missing angle is, or the missing side is we use Pythagoras, and so we say that you can say, for example, x squared, or I'm just going to use a random letter like w squared is equal to 5 squared minus 3 squared, and that eventually is going to give us 16, and so w is equal to 4. Okay, so that's going to be this length here. But remember, you always need to make sure that none of these are negative. In this case, this one is negative because it goes below the y-axis. Pythagoras won't tell you that. So now we have our triangle figured out, so we can work out the tan of A. Well, we know that tan is opposite over adjacent, and this angle here is A, so we can just use that angle. So the opposite is minus 4, and the adjacent is 3. So the answer for number 1 is going to be minus 4 over 3. Sin of 2a. Now please, I've seen people do this so many times. They simply work out the sin of a, and then they just times it by 2. Now sin of a is easy because this angle is a, but that is not how this works. What you need to know instead is that the sin of 2a, we can find that on the formula sheet. Now, it's a little tricky because sin 2a is equal, oh no, this one's not tricky, sorry. I'm thinking of another question, another type of question. On our formula sheet, we know that the sin of 2a is the same as this. Now this is wonderful, because what do we have on our triangle? We have a, and here we have a, and here we have a. So we've gotten rid of this 2a problem. So if you can just remember not to put the 2 in the front, you'll be good. Okay, you don't want to say that it's just going to be sin a, and then you're just going to multiply that by 2. That's not how it works. So sin of a, well sin is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's going to be the 4 over 5, or minus 4 over 5, so that's going to be 2 times by minus 4 over 5, times by the cos of a, well they've given us that is 3 over 5. And now I'm just going to multiply the, these two together over here, which is just going to be minus 12 over 25, and then I'll multiply that by 2, which is just going to be negative 24 over 25. Now cos 2a is the same. Remember that 2a is not just this, it's not going to be the same as cos a times by 2. So you can't just work out cos a and then just say times 2. I've seen a lot of students do this. Instead, we know from our formula sheet that cos 2a is either equal to that or it could be this. These are all the same thing, just by the way. It's just whatever you feel like choosing. The nice thing is, though, is that on the left side, it's a 2a. On the right-hand side, it's all just a's. So you can decide whichever one you like. I'm just going to go with... I'm just going to go with the second one. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So that's going to be equal to 2 times by the cos of a. Well, cos of a is 3 over 5. But then there's a square, so I'll just square that. Minus 1. Let's quickly work out the square. Well, that's... 9, because 3 times 2 is 9, and 5 times 5 is 25, minus 1. I'm then going to multiply this 2, so that's going to give us 18 over 25 minus 1. I would then just chuck that in on the calculator, and that'll give us negative 7 over 25. So here's an interesting one. They tell us that 3 sin of an angle, now this angle is 2a, that's equal to 1. And they tell us that this angle is between 90 and 180. So what we do is we need to identify where this is first of all. So if we take 3 sin of 2a 
we need to get the sin part by itself. So that's sin 2a equals to a third. So there we go. They're telling us that sin is positive, which is here and here. Then they tell us that this angle called 2a is between 90 and 180. So that's here. So definitely we are in this quadrant. Now our, our angle that we're using is 2a. You don't have to try to re remove the 2 or anything like that. That is your angle, 2a. And they tell us that sin or the ratio, that sin 2a is 1 over 3. Now that's opposite over hypotenuse. We can then use Pythagoras to find the missing side. So that's going to give us 3 squared minus 1 squared, which is equal to 8. And I'll just call it w squared. So then w squared is 8. So w is going to be the square root of 8, which is just 2 root 2. We can say 2 root 2. Then just look for any negatives. Well, so that one over there would be a negative because it's on the negative x-axis. Now what makes this question interesting is they ask us what is the sin of a. But we don't have a in our triangle. We have 2a. So you can't, you can't just work out the sin of 2a and then divide it by 2 or something like that. It doesn't work like that in trigonometry. So what we can do is, so we know that sin 2a, well that can be expanded to 2 sin a cos a. But this doesn't help us because we're looking for sin a, we know what this one is, but we don't know what cos a is. So then we do something like this instead. We know that cos 2a, that can become cos squared a minus sin squared a. It can also become 2 cos squared a minus 1, and it can also become 1 minus 2 sin squared a. Remember, those are all on your formula sheets. And cos 2a we can get very easily from the triangle. Why? Because the angle already is 2a. So let's get cos from that triangle by just using Sokotoa, where we see that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can say that the cos of 2a is equal to the adjacent, which is negative 2 root 2, over the hypotenuse, which is 3. So now we have cos 2a. So we could use this expansion. So we could say cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sin squared a, where cos 2a is minus 2 over root 2, 3 equals to 1 minus 2 sin squared a. So now all that we need to do is just get that part by itself because that's sin a. Notice there isn't a 2a there. Yeah, I get really excited with this stuff because um, students, they, they battle to see this. And when I, when I hope that, well, when they start seeing it, it's, it's, it's awesome. So this over here is 2a, but in our question we want a. So by doing a few clever things, we can get it to just become sin a. So now we need to rearrange this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to the left and I'm going to move this over to the right. So we're going to end up with 2 sin squared a equals to 1 plus 2 square root 2 over 3. Then to get sin squared a alone we would have to say 1 plus 2 square root 2 over 3. Okay, wait, let's simplify first. This part here is a fraction plus a fraction. Why? Because 1 is the same as 1 plus or 1 over 1. So the common denominator there is 3. So we're going to say 3 over 3 plus 2 root 2 over 3. So that means that 2 sin squared a is going to be equal to, now that your denominators are the same, you can just put it over 3. And you can just say 3 plus 2 square root 2. And we can't do anything further with that. Okay, so this is where we are at at the moment. Now, to get sin squared a by itself, you would have to divide that whole expression by 2. So what that means is that the 3 is going to be multiplied by 2, so that becomes a 6. Then we are almost done. Um, we just need to square root. And so sin a is going to be the square root of 3 plus 2 root 2 over 6. And that's it. So, yes, I hope that makes sense. Um, because this was given to us as 2a, that means that the angle in the triangle is 2a. And then we did a few clever things to try to get rid of the 2a because we were just looking for sin a. The main idea I want you to start realizing is that sin 2a is not the same as sin of a times 2.